It's crunch time for President Cyril Ramaphosa as members of parliament are set to decide on Tuesday whether to institute impeachment proceedings against him. Just three days before the African National Congress goes for its elective conference. At the conference, Ramaphosa is hoping to be re-elected as the party's president and its presidential candidate in the 2024 national elections. Ramaphosa's political future was cast into doubt on November 30th, when an independent panel found he may have violated the Constitution because of the way he handled the theft of at least $580,000 that had been stashed in a sofa at his game farm. The 400-member National Assembly will vote on whether to adopt the findings. If it does, legislators will establish a panel to look into whether there are grounds for his dismissal as President of South Africa. The African National Congress has instructed its 230 legislators to quash the report, but some within the party oppose Ramaphosa. Opposition parties are hoping these rebels can vote alongside opposition parties and push through Ramaphosa's impeachment and possible dismissal. While the report requires a simple majority to pass through, impeaching the president would require the backing of two-thirds of parliament, which is a tall order. Even if the MPs were to vote to adopt the report and proceed with impeachment, the process will only be able to start in the next year. Ramaphosa has also launched a legal challenge against the report and Parliament is also cited as a respondent. Meanwhile, Ramaphosa will get a boost and easily win a second term as ANC president if all ANC members of Parliament voted to quash the report. Reports do suggest that 42 rebel ANC MPs were likely to vote in favor of approving the report. The president's troubles began in June, when Arthur Fraser, former chief spy, laid charges against Ramaphosa, alleging that he tried to cover up the theft of at least $4 million from his farm in the northern Limpopo province. The source and accuracy of that information remains unclear. Opposition parties climbed in, questioning whether the president had broken foreign exchange and tax rules. Parliament appointed an advisory panel, a former chief justice, to investigate the matter. It disputed Ramaphosa's assertions that the stolen cash came from the sale of 20 buffalo to a Sudanese businessman, and that his farm manager had decided to hide it in a couch because he thought that was the safest place to keep it. While Ramaphosa initially contemplated resigning, he later backtracked and said he will challenge the panel's findings in the Constitutional Court on the basis that they are legally flawed. Ramaphosa won't necessarily be off the hook if he escapes parliamentary censure. The police are also investigating the matter, and under ANC rules he will have to resign if he's criminally charged. What do you think will happen? Leave your comments in the comments box below.